All right, so this for this guide of mark mode, I'm going to start in the mark menu, actually. So what mark mode is, is you choose marks before the game begins, and normally you can do this for tech copies, but in this situation, we can choose marks as people we want to actually guard. So let's say we have a situation where they've got a really, really, really good person, like Kairi. She's pretty okay. So what we could have happen is Cheetahs and Waterbite are going to guide her. Um, Rope, I mean, we'll, we'll also guard her. Uh, and then let's say we have someone who's really fast. Like, they've got Dotto with 91 speed. We've got Nob Guado. We want Nob Guado on Dotto. So here, we can actually paint what we're going to do before we actually do it. Um, so, like, in that kind of situation, it's really useful um, to actually mark who you're going to guard before you actually start the game. And then when you start the game and set it to mark mode, they're going to actually start guarding those people and following them even if they do not possess the ball. Um, I, in the last video, I said I prefer normal mode and always start with that, and I do stick with that idea because I feel like it is more balanced because that one stipulation of if they do not have the ball is very, very dangerous to do because if you do that, and you have everyone facing Kairi or whatever, like we're doing now, and Biggs gets the ball, he's only got like Mafuri on him. That's it. So it's gonna become really gross and could potentially lead to people actually losing out on like defense or offense or something of that sort, especially if you have Titus on an offender with them and the offender's really far, far forward towards your goal, you gotta make that trip all the way back. But anyways, we're going to set up mark mode here, and we're going to kind of watch what happens. Um, beautiful. Uh, we actually do want them to have the ball, because mark mode's more of a off... Uh, it's more of a defensive thing to show. So Biggs gets the ball. The, look at this. They're not paying him any mind. Um, even now, you can see Titus um, and Larbite and Rope are all going forwards this makes it so that we cannot stop Biggs he is too high of endurance we cannot get the ball away from him they're all going to chase him as he as he passes to Dotto though uh, you can see again Navguado is going to follow he's going to pursue no one else will but Navguado and this is where it can be effective because as you can see here uh, Navguado is fast enough to keep up with him the only negative, again, is the endurance, so we can't get the ball away. But yeah, that is pretty much mark mode. Um, it can be effective, and I will actually show you that in another clip, starting now. Alright, so I've reset the um, actual kind of scales here, and I'm going to show you how mark mode can be really effective. So what I did here was I set it so that Titus, Larby, and Rope are all facing off against um, Biggs, and Mafuri and Nakwado are all facing off against Dotto. So let's say you want to win an easy game and you want to just keep up the, the like pressure. So what you want to do here is you can do a jack shot too which gives you a guaranteed invisible shot and if you've seen one of my previous videos there's a way to never miss invisible shot which I will show here as it goes towards the goal uh, it's gonna activate you wanna bring it all the way to the left and you will never miss guaranteed so now you have one goal uh, what does that mean? it means the opponent starts with the ball um, and because we have mark mode set up it also means, just I'm just going to verify that it is going to be on, yeah. It also means that look at all the pressure. Dotto and Biggs are not going to be able to get away, and it confuses Mafuri so she gets in a bad situation. We tackle through, we got the ball again. It's as simple as that, and that kind of pressure makes it so that they have no available offenders. Their offense is shut down. I still don't I still don't like it because I feel like it shuts down your offense too in a way but it's kind of an interesting way to play and you can try it out and see if it works for you 
I've never really tried it out too much because I find that normal mode normally always works. But um, yeah, that's another way to have mark mode be effective. If you shut down the offense, then you're shutting down their potential goals. Uh, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that it was helpful or at least kind of cleared up what mark mode was. Uh, if you do have any questions at all or any comments, just leave them down in the comment section down below and I can try to answer the questions or, you know, just I'm always interested in hearing what you guys have to say because it really does kind of get my brain thinking like maybe they're right, maybe I'm wrong, I'm not an expert. I just like Blitzball a little bit too much. Um, but anyways, have a wonderful day guys and uh, I'll see you guys later.